Fusion has been 30 years away for decades, but the UK just made one of Fusion's nastiest problems smaller. Here's the issue. Inside a tokamak, you're trying to hold a mini star, plasma hotter than the sun, without letting it touch the reactor walls. You hold it with magnetic fields, but the plasma fights back. Near the edge, the plasma can get unstable. Little ripples can turn into bursts that slam heat into the walls. That's how you melt expensive hardware. The UK result is basically this. Better control over that edge behavior, meaning fewer violent heat bursts and a more stable plasma. And stability is everything. If you can run longer, you can test materials longer, push power higher, and get closer to a reactor that doesn't destroy itself. Does this mean fusion power is here next year? No. Fusion still has to prove scale up, continuous operation, wall materials that survive, and most importantly, economics. But it does mean one of the bottlenecks just loosened. And fusion progress is basically a long list of bottlenecks. The next question is brutal. Can we keep plasma stable and get reliable net power over and over without the machine falling apart? If you love mind-bending science and real-world breakthroughs, subscribe to SciBite Insights for daily explainers.